Welcome to a day in the life video. Today is Maddie's last day of one year old preschool class until the fall time and her last dance class. We have a cookout maybe for church. It is like a rainy day. It was pouring yesterday, so we'll see. But I have an hour or two to kill, so let's see what we can get into around the house before I always have a little one with me until fall rolls around. But it is, what day is it? It is Wednesday. I just got my hair done yesterday. If you're interested in, in my area, I will give you her details. I need to kind of get the house in order. I was mixed feelings. Do I be super lazy? It's a rainy day, last day without any kids, or do I get productive? And I decided to be productive and do things around the house. So, haven't washed my face yet this morning. I'm gonna take that time to do it with you guys. Love using these like microfiber little cloths right here to kind of keep everything else from getting wet. My cleanser I just purchased, I got the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. Unfortunately with this, the little top broke off and I find that so annoying because it says like new, so new packaging and stuff like that. I used it yesterday. I'm just gonna old school like twist it up and use the product that way, which isn't my favorite, but we're gonna do it that way. Put my hair up. Last week was a mess. I feel like since end of April, we have just been go, 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 go so much, which has been really fun. Nothing like really horrible or anything, just lots of birthday parties, lots of end of year things. Maddie had a recital. Unfortunately, a Jackson had a fever literally an hour before we went to the recital, which was such a bummer. Maddie was so sad. This is the Image Vit Vital C Hydrating Eye Recovery Gel. Love this for my under eye cream. But she was so sad because she was looking forward to her bubba watching her dance. So it was her first dance recital ever, first time on a stage. She did okay. She got on stage. She didn't really dance, but I'm still super, super proud of her. She looked cute, was very happy that she did it. So I'm a proud dance mama. I didn't do that kind of stuff growing up. My parents didn't put me into dance until like middle school uh, or middle high school. And then we, I'm, I think it was like fourth grade maybe when they put me into dance. And the studio did not, was not like a recital competition performing studio, which was good because I learned a lot of technique and that's how I can pick up dances really fast. I owe it to that studio. And then I did like high school dance team, danced in college, but I didn't do like all the cutesy little recital outfits and the recital pictures and stuff that I've introduced Maddie into. This is the Stila, I use these all the time, the Shimmer and Glow in Grace. This is by far my favorite. But so it was really fun to be a dance mom and do that there. Also all of her, Maddie's grandparents, like my parents, Isaac's parents and my grandparents can watch Maddie at her recital, which was super special and sweet. Even though I warned them that she was not gonna dance, they still showed up and wanted to be there for her, which I think is very special and meant a lot to me, probably to them and Maddie, she's two years old, probably didn't mean that much to her, but she can look back and know that her grandparents supported her, which is really special. This is the Charlotte Tilbury quad that I'm using. I'm doing a rolling project 10 pan on my channel right now. So if you haven't seen my updates, I think I have two updates right now of the products. I will link it up above for you guys. Kind of just like some products that I use on an everyday basis, some products that I am rotating in and trying to work on more. So this Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Skinny Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, 
I did a swatch for my Amazon video. I will link that up above too because I purchased it in January. It This is like day two and it's still on my eyes. I should, on my hand, I should just like get a makeup wipe and wipe it off, but I haven't. But really like this eyeliner, super waterproof, lasts really long and skinny. It's funny because everyone's like, what are your summer plans? Things like that. But with Jackson and year round, and then Maddie is like this like, right now is her last day and she doesn't go back till end of August, pretty much around Labor Day. And then we go to the beach for Labor Day week. So she will not to be really back in school until September, which then Jackson is going back to school. So he's out like June 3rd or something like that. And then he won't get back into school till July 8th where he starts first grade, which is insane that I have a first grader now. Um, but he will start then and then he gets out of school and is tracked out for the month of September. So I will have a little one with me until October pretty much, which is insane. Maddie is, since she is a September birthday, she is only gonna be in the two-year-old class. So she's only doing two days a week again um, this year. Yesterday was using the Clinique High Impact Mascara. I think I got this in a little sample set, but I need waterproof mascara, especially on rainy days. Like yesterday was a rainy, rainy, pouring down rain day. So my mascara was um, bleeding, which was not good, and I had all the smudges. So today, back to tried and true, I repurchased this. I purchased it in January, I think I put, put it in the Amazon haul, and then I just purchased it actually from Target like one or two days ago. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Waterproof Mascara. But yeah, we've been go, go, go. The kids have had so, like a lot of fun but they're getting super tired and cranky. Like Maddie has been needing a nap and has had some forced naps where she's screaming, crying at me. And I'm just rocking her in like with the sound machine, like trying to read like five books to calm her down. But she does pass out, but that's cause she needs to. And they're in, they're just, their little bodies go, go, go. But yet she wakes up at 6.30 in the morning this morning. I am currently looking into a Disney trip for me and my family for like in two years, not anytime soon. So if you have like planned a Disney trip, I know everyone's talking about the like Disney, what are they called, travel agents. I feel like I have two or three friends that are travel agent Disney people. Uh, my husband honestly is like, against it. I don't know if it's against it is the word. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I got like a little travel guy. Um, but he is thinking that he can do better, which I don't know if he really can. But if you guys have any tips for us, let us know. We will have, when we go there, like a second or third grader by then. And then a, I guess she'll be almost five, four or five years old. So let me know your tips and tricks for that. Uh, I've been kind of watching Jessica Brawley's podcast with her husband. I don't remember, like Disneyville or Dreamville or something podcast to kind of get more info on that. So many people post things about Disney. Been looking into like the Bippity Bop Boutique. But then, so I'm like looking into it for Maddie because she thinks she wants to be a princess and things like that. But then I'm worried that she is going to waste too much time. You know what I mean? So she's going to spend too much time getting her hair, makeup, dress, and all that kind of stuff done. And then we're going to like miss waiting in lines for Peter Pan and all that kind of stuff. So let me know what's worth it, what's not worth it, especially price and time wise. We probably will only be there like for a week total, but then not doing the parks, maybe just like, I don't know, three or four parks. I have a friend who has season passes that goes all the time. And I want to ask her like her advice, but she also has older kids and goes all the time. So I feel like there's a difference between having a season pass going all the time and then just wanting to go like once every couple of years, which is where we're gonna be like every three to five years when we go while they're like in that elementary to high school phase of life. 
So let me know your tips. What we packed for Maddie for her little dance bag is so cute and fun. I loved putting makeup on her. I got a little highlight for her. I let her use my Fenty Beauty. This is the Easy Drop Lights, which I can put on my skin now. So it's just a cream little highlight and I just kind of applied it on her cheekbones just to brighten up her face, which was so fun. She absolutely loved me putting makeup on her. The only thing though is she was so upset they wanted red lips. So I gave her and put on her my L'Oreal. This is the infallible liquid lipstick in Le Rouge Paris. She was so mad because she wanted pink lipstick. So I had to bribe her and tell her I was going to do it after. Um, also put her on a shimmer and glow liquid eyeshadow on her. Super easy to apply on little ones too. I gave her the color kitten and also topped it with the Stila kitten eyeshadow, which I should top mine as well. One of those project pan items. So close to being done. Just need to remember to pull it out. And then for her blush for recital day, I used the Tarte Dazzled Amazonian Clay Blush. That was super, super fun. I keep saying that. It was really cute to like put makeup on her for the first time. Because that was the second time I did it for her dance recital pictures as well. Which I'm wondering when those are coming in. I just got her spring class picture. So cute. And I got Jackson's class picture as well. Like with them all like in the picture. Which is so sad because when Jackson was in Maddie's class. That was 2020, so all of spring, all those things were canceled, and he was at home with me, and we were afraid of people, to the point, like, the summertime when we went to the beach, and, like, you were allowed to start walking around with face masks outside and that kind of stuff, he was terrified of people. He would be like, oh, no, like, when we're walking down the sidewalk, like, the street, he would be like, oh, no, people, and then we would have to cross the street, because that's what I was doing to protect him, but... It took a while to hardwire that out of a two, three-year-old child. Okay, so what we're gonna do is probably, I don't know, clean up this bathroom a little bit. Seems like a great idea because I'm looking at the counter right now and it is a mess, literal mess. I have an hour and a half until I get Maddie. So we're gonna start some laundry, put away this laundry of just like we have a laundry pile, like a dirty pile that my husband just like gets undressed for his shower right there. And I keep saying like, oh, I'm going to put laundry basket in there. But then I feel like the laundry basket is so bulky that I don't like it there. First world married problems. So let's clean this up a little bit. Here's a bidet. <laughs>
I recently went to Target, like I mentioned, got that mascara. So a couple other things that I got was this Pokemon shirt for Jackson. He is very into Pokemon right now, especially like the Legos, the cards. We're now doing the Pokemon Go app as well. So I did get him that shirt. I got Maddie, she was with me, an Ariel like princess dress. So she wore that literally immediately. So that is in the wash. I definitely need to wash it for her so she can wear it again. And then I purchased one of these like little tank tops. Jackson was like saying how all of like his friends were wearing tank tops to school. And then of course it's like 60, 70 degrees right now with all the rain and stuff. But I did purchase him just like a plain blue boy tank top. And then you know what he said? He was like, I wanted something with like a character on it. And I was like, Target didn't have a tank top with a character on it. So I did get from Amazon Transformers. Maybe I should have gotten Pokemon. I don't know. Pokemon Mario Transformers are his thing right now. So we'll have him try this on later today. But I got him some tank tops of Transformers. This is what like Optimus Prime Bumblebee and it says roll out and then this one is the Optimus Prime saying Optimus Prime very easy for that so I'll have him try these on when he gets home today also purchased him this was I think in the clearance section a little Pikachu like jersey sweatpants super cute this was a $7.50 on clearance, and there was a whole bunch of other ones. And then I saw this in clearance too. This is the size up, so hopefully he'll be able to fit into it come winter time, if not the next winter. But this is a long sleeve shirt for a Black Panther. They had some other character uh, in like the clearance section as well, but I just got the Black Panther and that was $8.40. A couple other things that I purchased, like some food things, Princess Goldfish, you know, normal stuff like that. I got so like gift cards for the Teachers for Teacher Appreciation Week. I have some Tied to Go. These are, what are these? Like they help with stains on your shirt, especially with Maddie. I used this to clean her dance recital costume she had a little bit of red lipstick on it so I used this for her I borrowed my mom's but it was like old and dried and then broke off so I have a new pack of that and then what's funny too is they were out in the store but the boys and stuff were like unpacking restocking so I was able to ask them and they ran to the back to get me one thank you so much Target employee got some q-tips are running low Maddie saw these and needed to get them. These are the Disney Lip Smackers. So she had Ariel, which is lost somewhere. She has been asking Ariel Lips, Ariel Lips, and I need to find it. But she does have other ones that we can play with. They have literally all of the Disney characters on there. I needed another one of my go-to. This is my car lip for when I'm out and about. These are the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. The color I love the most is Hibiscus. I've used a couple other ones. I think Peony as well. Really, really love these. They snap to push up and you can apply them super easy on your lips to the point Jackson the other day when I was using it in the car was like, why do you always use your lips and put lips on? And I was like, cause it makes me feel good. So if you need something as a pick me up, especially like right before you go into all your kids activities, these juicy lips is the best. So I got the L'Oreal Voluminous Waterproof Mascara. Also picked up another staple. This is the CoverGirl Water Resistant Clump Crusher in Very Black in Waterproof. Waterproof Mascara is a must in the summertime. We are headed to the beach soon, so I got some sunscreen for the kids. This is the Copper Tone 50 in 1 Performance. My husband and my kids both use this, so I got a two-pack to get us through the weekend. And then I love using the Kula Tropical Coconut. They also have a fragrance-free one as well. This is SPF 30, has 70% organic ingredients. I really love it. have been using Kula sunscreen for the longest time. I love their face sunscreen as well. So that is kind of like a mini Target haul for you guys of what I recently picked up. I don't think anything else really interesting in there. I got some scratch art things. I don't know, some pretty basic stuff. I think I got stuff just for like teacher appreciation week. So let's see what else I can get into before Maddie gets here. Curious what I did for the past probably 30 minutes. 
TikToks. I filmed a dancing TikTok and I filmed a like diverse song challenge lip sync kind of fun video. Just wanted to play, have fun. Those are also in my shorts as well here on YouTube if you're interested, check them out. So yeah, that is what I did. I have literally 10 minutes before I go get Maddie now. So I am going to start the dishes. I should have started last night. You know I want you close. Maybe hold your hand a little while. Somehow I know you're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own. In style, sleeves rolled up, glasses on, and then you make that smile, and my heart starts racing when I'm with you. picture with her teachers they gave all the kids some bubbles and chalk so Maddie of course wants to do it immediately perfect time for me to clean out her car seat because girl makes some messes with some snack time for lunch to do really easy nachos I get the rotisserie style chicken from Aldi just pour a little bit of that into a bowl and some queso dip. I either get this mild cheese dip from La Banderita or there's a, another one that I get a lot. It has like a blue or green top. I get it at Aldi, Target. As long as it's white Mexican queso, I am good. So I do about like two spoonfuls. So it looks like this. Heat it up for 30 seconds. Today I actually did 45 seconds. Ooh. But then when it is done, I cut up some avocado for it, pour a little bit of the medium salsa from Simply Nature, I get this from Aldi, and then use the tortilla chips to kind of dip in and eat that. And that is my go-to like favorite lunch right now. I eat this or I eat like some kind of dip with cucumbers and pretzel chips, but I've been loving Mexican food lately. I don't know if it's the summertime, I'm craving a margarita or what, but we're gonna stick to water. I realized I haven't had any water today. I use the Awala water bottles. I used it before it was trendy, but they are the best. So I do need to fill this up for today. <laughs> wondering what I'm doing Maddie has like 30 40 minutes to take a quick nap I put her down for quiet time she fought it but then she did go to sleep so it is laundry time for me I have a whole basket of clothes for Jackson I need to put in his room and then I have to get her up get her ready for a last dance class day of the season and get Jackson. Last day of dance is complete. Both kids are downstairs just chilling for a little bit. Woo, the light. I need to get Maddie back in her normal clothes for the day from like after her nap. And we are headed to church for our cookout. Church event is over. Chaotic having little ones, but we're home. Bath, shower, bedtime for them. Get ready for another day. So I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching this video i will talk to you guys in my next one
Sonic Tattoo 